Hello Rivera teachers. I'm going to be helping you set up your document camera that Ms. Renteria purchased for us. This is going to be really handy, especially if you're going to be teaching from home. So this is really great. So when once you take it out of the box, it really it's just it's put together. All you have to do is unfold it. So it's very compact uh, looking. And then once you fold it out, I basically kind of ran the wires in here just to keep it safe. And then I went to this website here. It shows here. And um, basically, it's the website that we're at right now. So when I got to this website, I basically went first to download the, the software. So I clicked here. And then I went to this free download uh, drop down menu and I downloaded the um, Apple app. Okay. Um, I find that the Apple app is probably a little better only because um, it's convenient. It's down on my desktop here. And then um, also too, it has a lot of other features that I noticed when I downloaded the Chrome version of the app, it didn't have as many um, options, like different, didn't have as many buttons. So I just downloaded the map one, okay? The Apple uh, app. So then once I was done with that, I went, I downloaded it and I it went right on to, it actually downloads it here and then I click to keep it on my, my dock. So that's why it's on the side, okay? Once I was done here, I downloaded the quick guide, which is pretty handy. It shows you what everything is here and what it means. So that's really important. So um, here is a start, a quick startup guide that says what everything is. And then lastly, I went to, by looking at all the step-by-step -step guides, I decided to download the Google Hangouts just because we're doing Google Meet. So I downloaded that, okay? So that's what this is here. And I just kind of briefly read over it, um, but I'm gonna show you the quick way to set this up with your Google Hangouts. So I'm gonna go here and open up a Google, the Google, Hang, the Google Meet. It's just easy. So I'm gonna click on here and start my meeting. Okay, once I join, okay, I'm going to join now. So I can set it up. This is something good to do before your students log in. Of course, if they do, they do. And so I'm just waiting here and I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to change the camera, go to settings and I'm going to change the camera from, see how it says uh, IPVO, which is the brand. Um, usually when we go on here, it says FaceTime HD camera. We're going to change it to this one, which it was already. And so you can see that um, my my paper is showing the high backwards, which is kind of a bummer. But just know that for you, it appears backwards, but for the students, it does not, does not appear backwards at all. So if you're teaching, you're focusing on the paper and you're modeling what you want to model, but you don't necessarily need to worry about looking at how it appears backwards as long as your students are seeing it right it's okay when you're done modeling your lesson then you can go ahead and go back to the three dots which sometimes I call the snowman go to the settings and then go back to the regular camera and now we're done okay so I hope this video um, helps in installing the IPVO onto your um, 
MacBook Air and how to set up your Google Meet so that you're able to teach live using the document camera. You also have other capabilities when you use it without going on the Meet, like I said. So notice the high is correct here. So imagine being able to record yourself on it and then adding the video to uh, Seesaw or to Google Classroom. When you click the camera here, you have a lot of different options here. Um, I have not gotten a chance to play with this, um, but I, I'm sure they all work great. Here are some more buttons here. There's your microphone. I did create one video and I noticed that the microphone, it, it definitely showed what I was doing, but there was no sound. So you have to uh, manually turn this sound on. And then, of course, there's lots of other features here that you um, might want to use to edit the image of your picture or video. So anyhow, I hope this video helps and um, um, I hope you're excited and ready to use it. Take care.